My name is Steve Angus Granger. I flew the F-16 and I had the pleasure of riding the Aces II on April 18th of 2005. I said, hey, we're about to bail out. Uh, we're gonna eject uh, over the water uh, into the river and I'm gonna try to put the airplane into the mud on the other side. So I said, bail out, bail out, bail out. And then starts the sequence. I said, God, here I come, yep. Closed my eyes and said, here I come. My name's Kevin Grove, my call sign is Coconut. I flew the F-16 Viper and I ejected on 26 April 1999. kind of just, holy cow, you know, and engine quit, um, got really quiet. And then we went through the procedures of mayday, 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 uh, bailout, bailout, bailout. Once we pulled the handle, time like stopped. I was able to see the bolts in the back seat blow. And then I heard a bang and then a big wind rush. And, and again, not thinking about it at the time, I go, oh, that wasn't so bad. And then the rocket fired. I felt the parachute shock opening up, and I'm like, oh, okay, that was good. You're in the chute within like two seconds, and then it's all quiet. And then I just watched the airplane fly off into the, the west. Uh, it's so surreal. It is like I'm actually in a parachute watching my airplane fly and crash into the ground. Wow, I'm one of the guys that actually had to, had to jump out of an F-16. So to come here and relay a story of the fact that, hey, it saved my life. And there's a lot of pride that should go into doing what they're doing um, because they're, it's important. The incredibly powerful thing about talking to end users or talking to pilots who've had to eject is that it relights the fire, it relights the purpose, and it really invigorates why we are here. Attention to detail is life. You can't afford to miss a step because you miss a step, potentially somebody dies. No different here, and the team understands that. The culture that is built at this place is solely focused on the end result, which is when the warfighter pulls the handles, they get out and they walk away. That's what we're focused on, and every time we build a seat, second, third, layers of checks and rechecks to make sure that the product we're providing is gonna work when they pull the handles. Yeah, I would like to say thanks to people that built a seat. Obviously, uh, in result, I easily could have been killed. So it's totally appreciative. Always, it will always be that way in my heart that, uh, you know, their dedication and workmanship saved my life. So many bad things happened that day. So many, so many things didn't work, but this did. Their commitment and their skill to, to this machine the excellence that they put into that. Uh, again, that allowed me to sit here today to walk to my wife uh, the day that I got home uh, to see the kids. That's, that's huge.